just ran away. I had to run away. My parents can hear, but I can't. And they blame me for that. I don't speak their language, and they don't speak mine. I need a place to go, to feel safe. Can you help me find a place? Can you? Of course you can't. My parents live together, but they hated each other. See, my father went to work. See, he was the head of the house. And mom, it was her job to stay home all day and clean the house. And every night at about six o'clock, I'd keep the garage door open and I think to myself, did I do everything right? Did I do everything right? Then I hear him come up the stairs. That was it. Please don't yell, Dad. Please don't yell. Then Mom calls in, and we'd all go sit at the table, and there'd be silence. Till my father would say something stupid, to break down and cry, and she'd grab us and grab us out the doors, and my father would pull us back in and leave her outside on the porch, all by herself. Tired of being fought over. I had to go. I had to go. Very serious. It looks as if this child has been severely beaten. We'll have to perform an appendectomy. Please give her anesthetic. The nail scissors, please. Thank you. Now the toilet paper, please. Thank you. Now the rubber bands, please. Thank you. It looks as if this child has got a broken heart. Now the straw for breathing, please. What are these terrible bruises on her back? We must report this at once. The Vaseline, please. I've made a perfect incision. We must remove the infection at once. She's sagging, mommy, mommy. She doesn't know that her mother is locked up in Bellevue for observation. But we mustn't tell our children. We must protect our children as much as possible. It's really lucky for her I came along. These parents who won't watch their children's appendixes, they'll have me do brain surgery next. Now let's hook her up to this life-saving device and keep all her vital functions going. In the meantime, I'll plant this quarter and a secret message inside her stomach. That's just straight from me to her. And that will make her safe. Completely safe, cause I'll always be inside
sight of her the needle and thread please we're going to stitch her up now and when she heals no one will ever know what's inside of her except of course me and she can always show her scars to everyone see Gypsolini, oom, um, ma, combolini, oom, um, matcha, cucaracha, C, O, D. Engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train falls off the tracks, do you want your money back? Yes or no? On to Ravens, on to Ravens. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. find themselves on television in the waiting room of the nearest train station bus station runaway house or community center and turn on the screen it's if watching and waiting i wonder for what tell me where, where do people go when they run away tell me where do they go and where do they stay if they stay are they chickens together on 42nd Street? Are they seatmates together in boarding school in Massachusetts? Are they in line together at the abortion office at the community center? It's all the same when you're lonely. Where do people go when they run away? Tell me where do they go and where do they stay if they stay? They sit in the movies all day like saddle men. Do they go to the factory and work their asses off? Do they go to political meetings and shout their problems out? Do they leave home and then go back home? Mothers and fathers do that a lot. Do they go from relative to relative to foster home to foster home to theater room to therapy to jogging and long walks and long talks and arguments and reconciliations? It's all the same. When you're lonely, where do people go? Footsteps. I remember footsteps. Carpet on the carpet in the living room. My room was down the hall. Every night before I went to bed, I checked the closet for the people hiding in my pants and shoes, my slippers and my nightgown. I turn the hall light on and count the cars that rushed by the curb. My house was on a curb. Did my father's car have a low sounding motor? And when the door would slam, it would go one. Two, my father slammed, my mother slammed, and the key would click the door. And then the footsteps, blessed footsteps on the carpet, waiting for the footsteps coming towards my bedroom. Just checking on the baby, making sure she's sound asleep, screaming, fighting, yelling with the door closed. Oh my God, I thought. Did they know I'm wide awake, and is that why they're fighting? My mother's voice was low and provocative. Don't wake the kid up. My father's screaming in hysterics, I'm not waking any kid up and so on and so forth. And then the footsteps, waiting for the footsteps coming towards my bedroom, just to check if I heard anything. No, I didn't hear anything. I just want to hear a bedtime story or have a stomach ache. Or did you bring me any presents? And then good night and prayers, and endless prayers. That'll bless anyone so I don't have to go to sleep tonight. Must check the closet. You can never tell who's sneaking in the ceiling. You can never tell hides, weapons in my loafers, poison in my Levi's, and monsters in the bureau drawers. 
and nightmares. All night long I'm hearing footsteps. Who's coming down the hall to eat me? All night long I'm hearing footsteps, gritting my teeth and making outrageous promises to God to do all kinds of jobs in his service. If I could just make it till morning. Footsteps, 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 leave me alone! Tú no estabas aquí anoche. ¿Dónde estabas anoche? I didn't see you last night. Where were you last night? A ti no te importa. Yo estaba afuera. It's none of your business. I was out. A mí sí me importa. Afuera, ¿dónde afuera? Yes, it is my business. Out? Out where? Vacilando con los muchachos. Hanging with the guys. Muchachos o muchacha? Guys or girl? Yo dije muchachos. I said guys. No te creo. I don't believe you. No me crees? You don't believe me? No te creo. I don't believe you. No seas estúpida? Don't be stupid. Estúpido tú. You're stupid. Te llame tranquilo. Leave me alone. Vete al infierno. Go to hell. Tu primero. You first. Contigo encima. If you want hot. Sucia. Skank. Idiota. Idiot. Basura. Trash. Inferbe. Child. Bruta. M moron. Aprovechado. Freeloader. Pu puta. Bitch. Cabron. Dumbass. Cabrona. Dumbass. Tu madre. Your mom. Cachapena. Dyke. Abusador. Bully. Apestosa. Asshole. Lambio. Lick it. Today is my day to make a report on current events. Do you have current events? It's part of my social studies class and involves the news of the day and what the newspapers say. I'd like to start my paragraph off by stating that the headlines have hurt my feelings and that today is an especially discouraging summary of facts. I feel like crying and please don't funk me. Things simply go like this. They're working on a neutron bomb that will preserve buildings and exterminate human life slowly and scientifically with radiation sickness, but please don't flunk me. A cop killed a kid who threatened him with a toy gun and got six years and soon will be up for probation, but please don't flunk me. And in the blackout this summer, at least seven people were killed and no one submitted it to anyone. More people died this year in family murders than in all the battles of Northern Ireland. And a pretty brunette is writing letters of love to the son of Sam. And although I'm not political, you know, I am scared for this crazy heart of mine keeps pounding wildly as if I've just run an especially long distance or had a dream that I can't remember, but please don't flunk me. These are current events. At 8.55 Monday morning, my father hit my mother across her mouth. They're kidnapping people all over the world. Patty Hearst went crazy and got free. And in Detroit, there's a crazy guy shooting kids in the face. Oh, mom. Don't let that happen to me. My brother cracked up my father's Buick and there's no more air raid drills because it won't matter. And all of these books are coming out saying that the CIA killed Kennedy, the FBI, Martin Luther King. Kennedy tried to kill Castro. And I don't usually worry about these things. I usually play baseball or make models in my room, but it's current events and you're asking me. My parents are becoming a statistic, a divorce, and I'm becoming a statistic, a fucked up kid, and a pretty brunette is writing love letters to the son of Sam. And although I'm not political, I hear the Shah of Iran cuts off people's hands. And when I'm playing my guitar, sometimes my fingers turn numb, and I get this pain in my gut. And I ask myself, what am I working so hard for? Just to be a statistic? I'm scared, and that's current events. Helter Skelter is a bestseller, at Bronx State Hospital, a junkie killed a shrink. 
and the guy in Detroit shooting kids in the face, and more family murders have taken place in the last year than in all of Northern Ireland. And I don't want my family to die. And that's today's especially discouraging summary of facts. And I feel like crying, but please don't flunk me. Please don't flunk me. When you're out on the street, you're all alone. 
You know you're all alone. People can't see you, but you do see people. And when people do see you, it's because they want you. They don't care who you are, it's you, your body, that they want. And once they're done using it, they throw it away, just like trash. When you're out there, you've got to walk. You've got to walk. And the people, the cars, the buildings, the street and the sky, everything's looking down on you and you become oppressed and overwhelmed. And you become scared, scared of yourself. The big men the people in come and, cars and, trains and they and planes make and the sounds I little hate. kids strip. Hey, hey! They fill their the brains in with and drugs and, 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 and Hey, hey, hey! They make them lie down with their money paying men. Stay away, stay away. halter tops and corkies and he got me a waterbed up on our flat on avenue c between fifth and sixth he built gratings and he is a shepherd named duke so we're safe all miko says is that we live in a free generation and the man and the woman go into mutual enterprise and sex is a business like kitchenware lucrative prosperous and even humanitarian if the middle-aged dude is freaking out because he can't get along with his family i can make him feel like a daddy i can make him feel like a daddy Miko says the light is a game. When I was a kid and my parents would check on me before they'd shoot it up and I'd pretend to be asleep. Miko says it's the same. Just pretend you feel good. Just pretend you feel good. Mostly everything works like clockwork and I'll be Miko's number one girl forever. Or at least until I'm 16 and can get my learner's permit to drive to Montana to become a rancher. But for now it's not so bad at seven minutes a stretch. To be someone's dolly, to be someone's daughter, to be someone's sister, Pretend to be glad, to pretend to be glad. It's a digital stopwatch, Miko bot, he keeps working. I stay out of trouble. Legs open at one minute, close at seven. And I'm safe, cause Miko steals pills from a medical warehouse. I open at one minute, close at seven. If I ever go over time, I catch hell. Once I met a guy, he was a sailor, he was 18. He had acne, he was very sweet, he never did anything. He asked me if I could go to Ohio and live with his mother. When I asked Miko, he laughed at me. He said there'd be no more waterbed, no more grass, no more pills and bright colors. He said I couldn't ever be number one again. How could I be after I hurt him so bad? He needs me, he needs me. He's made a deal to reward me. He's raising my percentage. He's met a producer and I'll go in the movies. I'm only 13 and I can still go naked. And the men who touch me, they're college type actors. I'll pretend I'm a movie star. I'll pretend I'm an actress. I'll pretend I'm a college bowl queen. Do you ever see those packs of dogs that make up everybody's old Christmas puppies? And they just end up roaming around the street looking for garbage. It's not the dog's fault. They didn't ask to have those little ribbons tied around their necks for Christmas. And they didn't ask to be let out of cars on street corners. But you watch those pack of strays. It's real interesting, the way they go around playing together like they're teammates or something. But the truth is, each one is out for himself. And if one of those puppies starts bleeding, like he gets himself hit by a car or cut in a bottle or something, then, ow, ow! Better watch out, because those other dogs will just leave them there, all alone, to bleed and howl and worse. There's something they'll do that's really disgusting. Like, if the pack is super hungry. But I don't have to tell you. 
And there's nobody to blame in all of this, because hunger is hunger, you know? Así, si quieres hacer una puta. Si quieres hacer una puta, entonces haz lo que estás haciendo. Pretendes ser joven e inocente y lo que tú haces no es tu culpa. Luego, como una pendeja vaca estúpida, actúas escandalizado cuando te golpean brutalmente. Pero tú no me engañas, pequeña puta. Yo he estado aquí demasiado tiempo. Y una persona puede decir que sí, y una persona puede decir que no. Y tú sabes las decisiones que tú has tomado. I know you want to be a whore. If you want to be a whore, then you have to know the choice you've made. Make believe that you are young and innocent and that what you do is not your fault. Act like a stupid cow and pretend that you were shocked when they hit you. But don't lie to me, you little whore. I've been here a long time. A person can say yes. A person can say no. And you know the choice you've made. track is all wrong. All wrong. It's too gloomy. It's too savage. We need some violins, something more upbeat. People will not wait in line for two hours unless they can go out humming something upbeat. And who's editing this thing? It's all choppy and black and white. Nothing is black and white. We need some technicolor. Some beast of Jean. Some surround songs. What this movie needs is a hero. But there are no more heroes. Do you want to know why there are no more heroes? Because when George Washington decided to found this country, he went to Washington, D.C., which at the time was swarming with superheroes. There were so many of them, they had to get rid of them so that he could build the capital. So he rented a printing press, and he lured all the superheroes into the printing press, and he Flatten them out. Just flatten them out. And that's why they're DC Comics. <laughs> it's all those flattened out superheroes stapled together. And there were so many of them that they had to build the library of comics. And I have evidence. I have proof. Spectacular Spider-Man. Flattened out. The Incredible Hulk, flattened out. Superman, flattened out. Every superhero is flattened out! And now, it's time to dance. Find me a hero, make the old fairy tales come true. Give him a shield and a crown, find me a hero. So many different variations of unhappy endings are come my way. I think I need a Lancelot, and I clap my hands and he's found my way. Find me a hero, make the old fairy tales come true. I want him to be president, yes! I want him to be a winner, walking with the marching band. And I won't accept a sinner, find me a hero. 
Make the old fairy tales come true. Put them on a moped. Give them the gloves and a helmet. Find me a hero. Hero, hero, I want a hero. Make me a hero. Don't let me down. Give me a reason. Give me a leader. Give me confidence. Don't let me down. Hero, hero, I want a hero. Make me a hero. Don't let me down. Give me a reason. Give me a leader. Give me confidence. Don't let me down. Don't want him sad. Don't want confusion. Don't want that boring preaching or false conclusion. Don't want no bitterness or violent action. No easy answers or late reactions. Find me a hero. Make the old fairy tales come true. of a very holy person, me. See, I'm studying a religion that teaches me to be super peaceful and real generous to everyone. And it will also prepare me for death. Now, what I have to do is I have to take a step forward and say the super ancient word, Skranachi Lua. Then I have to jump up and down and up and down. You know, heaven, hell, heaven, hell. And I have to constantly open and close my mouth to give out all sorts of real important information. See, see what I am is a dummy and God is my ventriloquist. And we sort of have this act we do together and I'm his big wooden doll and he throws his voice into me. Throw that voice, God! You know, some people may call this copping out, but if you're born a dummy, you're born a dummy and there's ain't nothing you can do about it. Skrenachi lua no ni ning kabatsu yo yi ying shikatsu hai! I am the undiscovered Hi. son of Judy and the Garland. The undiscovered son I can dance of and Judy sing Garland. And I can dance and sing and wear fancy clothes. Where Whereas my, my sister, sister Liza, Liza has to really, has to re for really work for a cause. All, you have, all you have to do is look at me, me and you'll and weep with standing ovation. Ovation. Ah. And the unknown son, son of John F. Kennedy. F. Kennedy. I am incredibly, incredibly good looking and smart as hell. Smart as hell. After, After I graduate, graduate from Harvard, Harvard Yale, Yale and, and Princeton, Princeton, I, I will, will run, run for mayor. For mayor and, and then you'll know. I own a horse and three large dogs. I am the undiscovered son of any fisher. I can croon and, and make your mother's, mother's heart melt. melt. Also, me and my sister Carrie are starring in a new science fiction film where I conquer and destroy a four-story man-eating robot. Do you want to get married in the White House today? My father, My father says, says it's okay. It's okay. Do, Do you, you want to get married in the White House today? In the White House today. My, My father, father says, says it's okay. It's okay. I am the son, am the of, son of Pele. Pele. 
the favorite nephew of Reggie Jackson, the first cousin of O.J. Simpson, and the favorite nephew of Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Muhammad Ali has built a guest bedroom just for me. I am the son of Ali Khan. He was a prince or something. Now I am a prince or something too. I have a sister who is named after a flower. I was named after a sunset. My name is Prince Sun something. Do you want to get married in the White House today? My father says it's okay. Do you want to get married in the White House today? Marilyn Monroe, G. Simmons, Rock Amanda, Edna Book Humperdinck, George Washington, Diana Shore, Catherine Denuvier. I went back home, and they were sitting by the TV watching As the World Turns. And they just made pretend I wasn't there because they know it really gets to me. Do you smell a nobody in the room, says my father to my mother. I went back home, and they just ignored me because they know it makes me crazy. It's not like I haven't been missing for 10 days. So I clear my throat, my mother turns up the TV, and my father belches. So I decide to do what I always do when I want to get their attention. I kick in the glass in the TV, and I bend the antennas back to like little bunny rabbit ears, and I scream, TV is for Polish Russian morons. My father picks me up into the air and throws me onto the ground. His face is close to mine, and the liquor smells like love on his breath. And he calls me a bitch. But at least he's talking to me. My mother picks up the broken TV glass off the floor, weeping and talking to it like it's an injured child. And things are going good now. So I tell them that they are stupid, uneducated assholes. They scream, you need a bath. And I scream, you need some brains. My mother goes into the kitchen and starts boiling the water on the stove. My father is ripping the clothes off my back and they throw me into the bathtub. My mother pours the boiling hot water in my back and my father is scraping the dirt off my back with the broken TV glass. I scream, this will teach you to come home. I went back home, and they were sitting by the TV watching As the World Turns. And they just made pretend I wasn't there. So I had to let them know. You know? It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Check it out. This is what I do when I'm angry. I break windows. First, I check to make sure that the window's closed. Then I pull down the shade, just to pull it down. Then I raise the shade. Then I check the window again to make sure that everything is all right. Then I take my fist, pull it back as far as I can, and I get real strong, and I shove my hand through the glass. It's bigger than the sun, it's stranger than the moon. When my mom is sad and hating me, I play basketball. Come on, y'all. Here in these hands, I hold the planet. It's bigger than the sun, it's stranger than the moon. When my mom is sad and hating me, I play basketball. And in the afternoon, when 
my father's out looking for a kid to be. I hide here in this holy court and I dribble with the head of kings. Oh. Here in these hands I hold a magic ball and I can look at it and see me. I run as laughter, I jump from pain, I shoot the moon into a big black hole because of my age. You have the moonlight at the top. Yeah, yeah, moonlight at the top. You have the It's making history on my team, and it's deadly in its aim. Oh. Here in these hands, I hold an eye of a giant, the head of a pirate, a million carat rubies. I shoot the moon into a big black hole. Venus, Mars, Uranus, Pluto, Jupiter, and due to my aim, you have the plan. A long time ago, I used to take the spoon for my breakfast cereal, and I'd whammo, throw it up against the wall, <laughs> and watch the milk and the cornflakes dribble, dribble, dribble. <laughs> and I'd laugh, you know, and, and wait for someone to come and pick that spoon up and give it back to me, but uh, no one ever did. I was in one of them high efficiency orphanages. <laughs> And the cleaning ladies would just curse and mop up the mess, and some gray-striped volunteer would plop another spoon into my bowl. Bang! And I'd whammo whirl it up into the air like a military helicopter, and I'd throw it up against the wall. <laughs> and, and the cleaning ladies would just come and mop up my spoon in the cornflakes, and, and another spoon would keep being plopped into my bowl. No one ever tried to talk to me about it. Not ever. No one had the time to put a hand on my shoulder and say, stop it, little kid. <laughs> it always fascinates me that <laughs> if you drop something <laughs> and no one picks it up, <laughs> you forget you ever dropped it. <laughs> maybe, that's why I can, maybe that's why I feel I can just float away at any time. Maybe that's why the spoon game got boring. <laughs> Anyways, I, uh, I uh, play with uh, spoons now, too. <laughs> I fill them with the double eagle. Uh, horse. Uh, white powder. Oh, come on, heroin. And I melt them over candles. And no one stops me now either. Now, I'm in an orphanage for grown-ups. The world, the world is an orphanage for grown-ups. <laughs> and I'm a pusher. <laughs> so my name gets put on the blue clipboard for the bad boys, instead on the white one <laughs> for the good. No lullabies for Louie boy, he's gonna take a walk.
right here through his rich Puerto Rican garden. Out onto the veranda, look at the snapdragons with their wild tongues. No lullabies for Louis boy, he's gonna keep on walking. Orchestra is playing a mumbo. The president's wife would like to dance with you. Walk, Louis, dance, Louis, walk, walk, walk. Not one step for you to stay awake and one step for mankind. Like on the TV. Watch out for them craters, Louie and the weird little men in goggles. Ah. Walk first, Puerto Rican chunky on the moon. Walk first, Puerto Rican chunky. Now you're going to make me kiss you goodnight. Sometimes you slap me. I don't know why. Sometimes you're so drunk, you even forget I have a bedtime at all. And they stay up. All night and watch TV. But tonight I have to kiss you goodnight and pretend like you've been purple all along. How can I argue? It's bedtime.
walking down Allentown Avenue one night, and I saw this man, and I just wanted to walk by him. So I started to walk, and he walked up to me. And he said, do you have any money? And I said, no. Then he pulled out this huge knife, and I looked at it, and I pushed him, and he fell. So I started running. I didn't know if he was going to get up and chase me again. There was no one there to save me. I was coming home from school one night, and there was this man um, standing by the school park. And it was the way I usually went, along this long block that was badly lit. And it was really freaky. And I just wanted to get by him so I could go about my business. And as I walked by him, he said, sinner. And I looked at him as if to say, why are you bothering me? I haven't done anything to you. But he just kept saying, sinner. And it started with the blood. And every month you bleed, you sin. I remember the night of my 10th birthday. We were driving in my mom's car. She was drunk, and I had to drive the car for her. And I couldn't find a way home, so this cop car pulled up and said for us to get in the back seat, and I told him her name. And I felt really awful, because the next morning, she was supposed to hold a big birthday party for me. And the next morning, she really showed up out of the jailhouse, and she fixed herself all up. You know, we're all in this major motion picture called the 21st century, and the movie's almost over, and here come the credits across the screen. Only there's so many actors in this movie that the credits is the New York City phone book where we all get equal billing because we all had bit parts. That doesn't matter now. The movie's almost over. And this is the end. Hey, Justin. I've been meaning to tell you this for a while now about how fine you look riding on your skateboard. And I was wondering if maybe Me and my sister had this fight once, but it was weird because I hit her. And I don't usually hit. But this time, I hit her right in the head. And I got real scared, so I ran into my room and locked the door. And then I heard knives coming out in the kitchen. So I got my knives out. And all of a sudden, knives started hitting my door. And one knife went right through the door. I put my foot against the door. And finally, nothing happened. In about 10 minutes, I opened the door and looked into the hallway. She wasn't there. I looked into her room, and there she was, screaming and crying, Alice, Alice, Alice! Mommy doesn't love me, Alice, she only loves you! And she was screaming and freaking out, and I didn't know what to do, and I was scared because I thought I did this to her. And I went over to her, and I hugged her. El otro día me dijeron que mataron a mi amigo José. No sé por qué lo mataron. Él fue un muchacho muy bueno y solo iba a la iglesia a acabar mucho. No sé por qué lo mataron. Mami, me voy de la, de la casa y voy a coger un apartamento. Yo tengo trabajo y dinero y puedo hacer lo que yo quiero. Nadie en esta casa me respeta porque eso me voy y no vengo más.
Torino doesn't turn around And doesn't care what he did Because a daddy's got to run from mama A daddy is a runaway Tomorrow will be a different world Than the way it was today All women get a job in New York Chicagoan in thy home, I will not tell a soul. Chicagoan in thy home, I will not tell a soul. Chicagoan in thy home, I will not tell a soul. Chicagoan in thy home, I will not tell a soul. Chicagoan in thy home, I make a solemn vow I will not tell a soul. Father? Hello, son. I'm so sorry. Mother, I have something for you. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, too. Older brother? Younger sister? I just got straight A's. Grandma? What? I just made freshly baked cookies. Beep, boop, 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 prepare for grandma destruction. Pew! Oh. And end up in the intensive 
talking puts you to sleep. I am getting drowsy. Too much pain makes you feel terrible. That's a problem I do not have, I am happy to say. Too much money makes you feel cheap. You don't want to feel cheap? Give me your money and you won't feel so cheap. Strange as that seems. It does seem just a little bit strange to this poor soul. Sometimes a person gets her dream in a big way. A house, a job, maybe some children. The more she gets, the more she feels alone. I like dirty words. 
I think they look right. I pay multicolored curses late at night. I make the background of the city in the summer or the snow. Is that what you did, Mr. Van Gogh? I like to paint a sneaker. A hell of a sneaker. A big ass sneaker. Big as a D train with some wheels on it so I don't have to walk and a nose so I can breathe. And someday, you know, they will build the Sneaker Subway Memorial Museum for all of us veterans of police and graffiti wars, for those who got electrified on the track, for the crazy types who got themselves whammy to death because the train started itself up too soon. Just when we was in the most colorful I perceived. Fuck you! Have you ever met the 16-year-old Hellas Ghost of 42nd Street on Broadway stop? Well, I did, and I knew him when he had his head, and I saw him when he lost it. But I like danger, and nothing stops me. Does anything stop you, Mr. Salvatore Dali? You and your signified monkey mustache? I sleep the whole day through, and stay awake all night, painting colors loud and bright, under the ground, behind the walls, outside the windows, like an incredible, huge, artistic, glorified graffiti cockroach. And when the stores are closed, I crawl in and steal my spray paint can. Is that what you did, Mazur Gauguin? I figured. I am serious about my art. I paint my signature all over the place for all my neighborhood to see. This is my Miss Chirosa La Guardia, George Washington, Hancock, Rodriguez, Scooter, Bozo, Smith the Third. Yeah! But what does an artiste really do? How does she live? I don't know. I can't read. But write me a letter, Mr. Picasso, Mr. Preciso, yo mama, yo papa, yo ugly grandma. Yeah. crazy type that talks to the pigeons and pheasants and whatnot. But the truth is, they talk to me. And this one, he says to me, he says, Hey, Mary Jane Johnson, I was a frog before I was a pigeon, and a prince before that. And if you would lay your lips on an appropriate part of my feathers, I will take you far away from this on a big white frog. No. Peasant, no. Peasant, no. Horse. Yeah. All right. You ready? Here we go. You weren't ready, were you? Okay. One more time. Here we go. Shit. I got me a defect fairy tale. Hollywood's done gone and bought it all up. Be selling that now, huh? And you won't do nothing for free? That's all right, because I'll keep on talking, and I'll keep on trucking, and I'll keep on. Woo! Woo! Who's your bitch? Who's your bitch? Who's your bitch? I mean, ain't there no such thing as a simple love between a girl and a pigeon anymore? All the light is coming, coming. Quickly cries the bird. 
bad enough we each run away. It's bad enough that we to safety pin our socks to our knees and our pants to our shirts. That we have to walk the streets with no soles in our shoes and live where there's no heat. It's bad enough that we have to remember our parents' faces and wonder, did we go wrong? It's bad enough we got to steal to eat and join disgusting gangs to feel safe. It's bad enough that we may never see our parents again. And if we do, it'll be when they come to bail us out of jail or pick us up from the emergency room or pull us from our pimps. It's bad enough that we to grow up having absolutely no idea how to talk right or walk cool or think straight. It's bad enough that we to feel ashamed of what we can't remember, humiliated by what we can't possibly know and lonely for who we'll never meet. It's bad enough we to run away in the first place, but we have to die too. We have to die too? We have to die. Give me a P. P. Give me a U. U. Give me an A. A. Give me a K. K. What do you got? Huh? What do you got? Huh? What do you got? I'm the child of an aging hippie, and I hate long hair like the plague. I hate drugs because my parents are so spacey. I hate rock and roll, I say. Any punk can be late. Where are those people who can hear? Why are they so freaky rich and ugly? Where are those people from San Francisco? They got fat. They got fat. And they make heavy, soggy bread. Where is the promise of a magical age? Why do astrologists eat vegetables and fart funny? And fart funny. Why are horoscopes computerized and tape recorded? Tape recorded. Why do drugs make us furious and not tasteful like they said? Like they said. Why are half the people from rock bands and mental institutions? Kennedy and Janice Joplin and Jimmy Hendrix dead. They were so special. Why does freedom make us empty, scared, and belligerent? Instead of harmonious and understanding what they said. Where are those people who didn't hear? They're a corporation big as IBM. And they subsidize lost and phony visions. Where are those people who didn't hear? Copies of the Beatles and smoke pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. McDonald's of us three free weeks of the ST with a fish cake. We do it all for you. And see how Venus turns into soup. And there's so much bullshit going on that by the time I finish this song, I'll either murder someone or have my own special on TV. You know, it's so easy to be a star. Where are those people who didn't hear? Well intentioned people who couldn't finish. Social workers organized presidents and priests. Revolution on Broadway. A bunch of rich naked people making more miserable babies like me to fill up more institutions like me to overdose on wasted life like me. There's so much bullshit going on, but by the time they finish this song, they'll either murder someone or have their own special on TV. You know, it's so easy to be a star. All those people living here. What can they teach us from the last 10 years? What have they done with their millions? They spent a lot on yoga for the 10.
those appendicitises and talking tubes that we gave you. And still, all you ever do is sit there and cry. Mommy, Mommy, how stubborn you are, Jane. I think you must be dead. It's too bad about all this. You could have come and lived with us in our father's mansion in California. But now you can't go, and we can't go. And we all have to stay here and attend your stupid, solemn funeral. How stupid and boring, Jane Louise. Couldn't you become a beauty queen or something? But instead, a black and blue little girl with the nickel bag of grass planted where your heart should be. And now we have to bury you so your parents will never know. A mother when you haven't never had a mother's love and though it breaks my heart to be locked into a marriage of adult responsibility set me free and let me play out in the playground let me be just a kid out in the playground set me free and let me play out in the playground let me be just a kid out in the playground let me be young Girls 
who in their adolescence sneaked downstairs, disturbingly found a mother and father coiled in a chair, locked in consequence. I said, there is so much mother pull, there is so much father pull, and so little human decency. To boys and girls who read half-done mother and father war letters and watched the gardens overgrow with weeds. To boys and girls who have to pry open too soon because mothers and fathers die or kill themselves according to the loss of angry, random, grown-up gods. To boys and girls, now weeping, half man, half woman, because you wish you got your mother or father's signature on a definite night, on a talk porch, holding family hands, talking love words. I said, make laws against regret. Otherwise, you have to start with Adam and Eve. And the line waits endlessly. And the song, so long and so yearning. Problem after problem. Fair loneliness. Anger, I don't know how to. Deal with it. No one taught me how to. Deal with it. Sometimes I miss the people I left behind. Sometimes I'm scared of the people I hang out with. Sometimes I'm terrified I'm losing myself. I'm telling you. Sometimes I even think I miss my parents or something I want. Something. I want something. Something comforting. Something wonderful. Something thrilling. Something that makes me feel. <laughs> Sitting on the roof, watching the sun go down. Hey, people in buses and no one I'm worrying and thinking about. And in my own way, I'll soon find comfort in the Lord. Let me be just a kid out in the playground. 